Hi guys, so today we're going to be talking about um, a new literary movement. It's called postmodernism, and I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible. Uh, postmodernism is one of the final literary movements, and it's actually still um, present. Like it, it's going through right now. We're technically in the postmodernist period. Um, so many people felt that poetry had become too restrained um, by the time that we got to the postmodernist period. So during the end of modernism leading into postmodernism, they felt like it was becoming very restrained. And um, they thought that it was hard for a poet to fully express how they felt and their ideas and all of that. Um, poets wanted the freedom to be able to pick the words that they wanted to use, um, the order, um, the layout of the page, where the line breaks were. All of that, they didn't want there to be a set number of lines per stanza or anything like that. Um, and they didn't want all of the lines to be 10 syllables or something like that. They wanted to be able to mix it up if they wanted to. Uh, and they also thought that it had become too predictable. So um, unlike uh, the traditional poetry of like the modernist and the periods before that, um, they where they had like a happy or romantic tone, Postmodernism had a more dark and unpredictable tone, um, and it caught people's attention because it was so different from anything that they had seen before. Some of the characteristics of postmodernist poetry is there's no set format. So like I was talking about on the last slide, um, the lines don't have a distinct format to it. And on the very last slide, I'm going to show you um, exactly what I mean by that. You'll see that there's really short stanzas and then there's really long stanzas and like even the lines are all different lengths. Um, so there is nothing about the format, um, sim syllables, stanzas, um, line lengths, page breaks, anything like that, that, um, that it showed that the, po the poets followed a set um, a set format. Um, the next thing is that sometimes these can be a little difficult to understand. Many postmodernist poets, um, their poems are kind of meaningless or only have meaning to um, the, the author or the poet. And um, the authors feel like they're in... Um, so the last thing, um, one of the characteristics of postmodernist poetry is that there's this um, existential theme um, overarching, overlapping all of them. Um, so these can include absurdity or um, questioning your existence, um, questioning your individuality, questioning everything about your life. Um, that's typically what it's doing or making the reader question those things. Our featured poet for this period is John Updike. Um, he was born in 1932 in Pennsylvania, and um, he lived until 2009, so he just died just a few years ago. Um, and he has been writing poetry his entire life. Even as a teenager, he was a published poet, and he was inspired by his mother, who um, was was an aspiring writer, and she used to submit things to magazines and to newspapers to try to get published a lot. And she was like one of his main inspirations for a lot of his work and for his getting into the realm of writing. John Updike's poetry um, is a little, it definitely fits into the modernist, the postmodernist period. I mean, um, he uses a variety of forms in his poems, and you'll see that in the next slide. Um, he never really sticks to one specific form that he uses. He kind of meshes them all together. Um, and he discusses a variety of themes in his work, some of which are extremely controversial, uh, especially during the time period that he was writing in, um, the 40s, 50s, 60s, um, and even currently, like religion, adultery, American politics, and death. These are all things that kind of make people a little uncomfortable to talk about or to read about. And he was um, introducing this in such a bright way. And he was making people question a lot of what they thought they knew or what they thought that they believed through his writing. So the main thing that I want you to notice, this is um, the poem that we're going to be focusing on for John Updike. It's called The Great Scarf of Birds. Um, the first thing that I want you to look at, first of all, don't worry, I'm not going through all of Tips Fast. But I do want you to look at the, the varying line lengths. So the first one is two, two lines. This one is 11 lines. This stanza is also 11 lines. And then the final stanza on this page is seven lines. And this is not the entire poem. He actually, This poem is actually quite lengthy. It's 50 lines. But um, you can just see how he breaks it up. It's a little different. And even like the length of the lines, this one's only three words, whereas two lines above it, it's 
10 words or eight words, whatever it is. Um, so that kind of sums up um, postmodernist poetry. I wanted to do this as quickly as possible for you. So I feel like I covered a lot of the key aspects. Um, and so we'll be looking at this poem a little more in depth uh, next week. And so I hope you guys have a good weekend. Bye.